Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, I will be sharing with you an example where I'm using Spreadshop, Geometry Nodes, and Animation Nodes together. So, three different nodes, three, and we're gonna have this kind of random lines. But in the end, we're gonna have something that looks like this. Kind of like a monster. Alright, so, yeah, let's get started. So, I basically started with this Spreadshop Nodes. So the nodes is super basic. Uh, this is actually okay. It's basically lines, and the lines goes inside vector noise, and then I randomize using the seed. So I actually have thirty-two different lines, different variations of the lines that's been beveled. Okay, so that's the first steps. The output is actually looking something like this, just bunch of lines. So that's from Spherechox, and that goes uh, into geometry nodes, which is this guy over here. And with geometry nodes, I simply start with a plane, and then I subdivide it into bevel, so it's become like a circle. And then I weld it, and then in here I simply randomize the line. Oh, I actually did the align rotation to vector, and then I simply use the point instancing under the noise line. So this one is from Spherechop. That's why we have these random lines. However, I instance it again. I instance the objects using animation nodes. So this is one example where I think animation nodes is kind of like uh, the higher in terms of node 3. The lower one is probably spare job. This is the one, kind of like the one that does the hard job and the most complicated stuff happening here. On top of that, uh, geometry nodes can do kind of like a mirroring uh, remeshing those sort of thing while animation nodes is doing the instancing as you can see here it's simply distributing and doing the instancing of the objects which is plane it's called plane here and then I loop it and I'm ran I randomize the seed so each duplicates here that's animation nodes created is the duplicate of plane object this guy over here with the seed okay so I can have like 100 variations no problem let's actually try doing that 5 times 4 20 let's make 40 for now nothing too crazy so it's a bit like graffiti right so this does not generate volume right because this is blender 2.92 why, why why am i using 292 because everything works in 292 however geometry notes is kind of limited so what i need to do here this is with with animation nodes with objects instant instance are being selected i simply uh can i disconnect unlink the instance from the node are you sure yes delete everything here file save as save it as bake now i switch to blender 2.93 gonna open the result so i kind of like i bake the the monster here so we have these monsters with random variations random seed and I simply need to mirror all of them I think so select one select one of these and then select all actually this one already have mirror and then select all 
simply click here and then copy to select it. Now each one of them is mirrored. So we have all these monsters. However, uh, I think I mirror it incorrectly. I need to mirror it in the Y axis. Now we have our monsters. They're just bunch of cylinders then that's being mirrored, right? So, but each one of them is still using the same same geometry nodes. Let me show you. If I select this geometry nodes, okay, we can actually use something like point to volume and volume to mesh. Now we have our monster. It's a um, it's kind of work in progress. I'm doing. This is uh, kind of fun to do. It's just you know a bunch of blob. But it, it has potential. Because at this point you you just use your imaginations and see what you can come up with. Just increase the voxel amount a little bit and the radius. <clears throat> okay, yeah, I think something like that. I think this is uh, one of the result that you can get. Maybe it's better if they're kind of connecting. Yeah, I think density needs to be one at least. But the radius, the radius can be randomized. Yeah, it's a little bit abstract, I know, but it's a, it's an idea. All right, so there you go. That's one example where you can use sphere talk, uh, really with all two hundred nodes here, dealing with noise, those sort of things and geometry nodes what i think geometry nodes really good is with the instancing always it's really fast this one is fast faster than anything out there and then once you instance and you have a single objects with uh, some attributes you can you can then instance again like doing duplicates using animation nodes and then you randomize the seed so that's really the key points here all right so hopefully you find this useful. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.